Since the beginning of rock and roll, players have been combining the blues and the Mixolydian scales. Today we're going to look at the intervals and the phrasing, the how it works and the how we can use it. Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using today, live streams, and more on Patreon, and my deep dive courses. It's all on my website. I know we know the scale. Fifth fret, you know, key of A, minor pentatonic. Let's add the blue note to make it a proper blues scale. as dots there it is as intervals remember intervals are really the thing behind everything they're the reason stuff sounds cool the, the way stuff interacts with that fundamental pitch now let's look at a mixolydian which is a major scale with a flat seven Kind of a funny fingering there. Which you could imagine, that's why folks don't just play that, because it's a little awkward under the fingers. There it is as dots. There it is as intervals. Now, the exercise I always say to do to get a feel for that is you groove for one bar, and then you aim for a specific interval, a non-chord tone, and then resolve it to a chord tone if possible. Check it out. And yep, my foot is going. Yeah, you can see that. Right, that falling back there. does is it really forces us to listen to the tones that you, you don't get that if you're just running the scale. You just fly right past them and don't really hear who's got friction and in what way it has friction. Cool stuff. And again, you could do the same thing with the blues scale too. Also, that builds what I call useful dexterity, the ability to keep a groove, play something that's not the groove, and get back to it. Cool exercise. To make up phrases that go between the two scales, you can do just about anything except this. That flat third, it really likes to go up to the major third, or down as though it's a minor scale. The only thing that I have never heard anybody use is the major third to the flat third. It's just a weird phrase. You know, you'll hear it in like a chord progression, like a... But yeah, you don't really hear it as a melodic device. You won't really hear folks go... So that's the one thing I want to just make sure we know. You can do just about anything else. And people do. Now we know the, the scales, the intervals, and that one little Eric's rule about the flat third. Yeah, the best way to get a handle on this stuff is phrasing. Learning other people's licks and spending a lot of time unpacking them. So yeah, let's look at... Johnny B. Good. Everybody should know Johnny B. Good. Yeah, the original's in B flat to kind of, for this lesson, I moved it down to A just because that makes life easier. That's a great little Mixolydian blues crossover run. I go down to here to do the next part. 
that's just, you know, A power chords. And then, and that's straight, you know, major pentatonic, but it's like, okay, you could call this thing major pentatonic and minor pentatonic also. The notes equal out the same. Mentally, I think of it as blues and mixolydian. Anyway, but yeah. There's that next lick. You only have about that much time to get to that F sharp before you're doing the. Let's just talk about that for a second. There's a lot of string muting going on over here. See how I catch that tone with, with the pick? Because otherwise you just end up with. Also cool, it's just not what Chuck did. And then this is a great turnaround lick. Beat one is a bend. And then we start going down. I've, and I've heard Hendrix rip this off. You start to go down. Store that away. That's a really cool thing. You start. And I'm doing all downs because that's more punk rock. And I do think that's what Chuck did. It's very aggressive. That's so cool. So from beat one. Let's look at American Woman because it's a later example of the same idea. And then we're going to grab one of the phrases from it and spin it out. I'll show you what I mean, but here, let's learn it first. You know, that's E major, or I guess E mixolydian, E pentatonic major, you know, Do, Re, Mi. Or mixolydian. This is the lick we're going to grab. Because that's like a blues with that little resolve to the major third. Yeah, I'm using my Augustus octave fuzz for this. I know that's not, you know, the way it was done. It's like a special combination of things to get that tone. Tech 21 actually has a, a an American woman pedal. I owned it years ago. It was a cool pedal, but that this lick right here. So here's what I say to do when you find something that you're like, I like that, that's cool. Let's unpack it as the interval. So yeah, guge, there is E blues, okay? There's E mixolydian. So what tones are these? Well, that's a flat seven. The root, flat third, resolving to the major third. So that means I can do this in all five caged locations. This is a great way. This is the best way I know to quote unquote, get to know the fretboard. <laughs> Yep, there it is there. There's the flat seven, the root, major third, or flat third. I just want to point out, there's two deer just watching me do this right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay. They've been there for like three minutes. Just like, what are you doing in there, man? Oh, flat third to the third? Cool. Well, that's cool. Let's see some other places that we can do it. Well, if I want to play around here where this E7 is. to play it around here where this E is. Let's see, where's my flat seven? Where's my root? Flat third. Same thing. Ooh, can I get a chord here though?
in doing things like that, A, you discover new riffs that way, and you get to know the fretboard, and you really get to know the phrase in such a way that, fingers crossed, jam situation, playing with other people, recording, playing live, that lick might whoop, just, just, just come out of your fingers. If you only practice the lick where it naturally occurred, you can only play it where it naturally occurred. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do with the like, subscribe, and share. That stuff costs you nothing, and that helps keep the lights on for YouTubers. That's why we're always talking about it. It keeps uh, people watching your videos, which generates traffic, which generates website traffic. On my website, there's Patreon, where there's charts, backing tracks, live Q&As, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm updating every week. And there's also my deep dive courses that I make in partnership with TrueFire. Let's see, a lesson like this one today. Um, hmm. Well, there. I think uh, Guitar Zen Modes ties into this one pretty well because there's a whole section on Mixolydian there. And I know that I did when I put that one together. There's some stuff about the crossover between blues and Mixolydian. It's so cool. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.